The chance for park space might have been lost when the railway barons reached Toronto and took the land reserved for parks, cutting off the city from its waterfront, if it hadn't been for the vision of Toronto's first city engineer, John Howard, who was already integrating the spiritual benefit of trees and gardens into projects such as the Provincial Lunatic Asylum. Coburn Lodge is a country home of John and Jemima Howard, and he purchased a lot that was 165 acres that ran from Humber Bay along Lake Ontario all the way up to Bloor Street and designed a Regency picturesque home at the southern end on a high hill overlooking Lake Ontario. There's many, many windows throughout the house with different views to the outdoors. There's interaction between the outside to the inside and, and back again. Actually, the first rooms were the parlor, what is now the dining room and the bedroom, all around a central chimney. And then there is a second story with four bedrooms, um, Toronto's oldest existing bathroom, two kitchens, there's a winter and a summer kitchen here, and servants' quarters. When he died, Howard left behind more than a hundred of his watercolours, an enduring record of how he saw Toronto in the mid-19th century. He and his wife Jemima also left their rolling wooded land to the people of Toronto. High Park is arguably probably Toronto's most famous and well-known and beloved public parks and it, it would not be here if it weren't for the Howard's foresight and their belief in the power of nature and the importance of it. Their tomb can be found just across from Colburn Lodge. Probably the most fascinating feature of the tomb is the railing that runs across the front and that is actually um, a portion of the original railing around St. Paul's Cathedral in London, designed by Christopher Wren in the early 18th century. At the other end of town, another park was built in the beach, one of the city's oldest neighborhoods. The boardwalk remains one of Toronto's top attractions, especially in the summer. For more information, visit our website on topoftheworld.net.